This is the morning of my last day in Chicago. We have like kind of a love-hate relationship right now. <laughs> um, this is like, what do they call this? The sun, it's a sun deck or something. Um, this is Chicago. This is like everything in back of me. Um, Here's all the buildings from that end. I've been taking pictures up here, but um, here's like everything. So it's really, really awesome how they built this. I'm really excited to experience this. Um, and then here's this way. You can see that way. way so this is like my last day here for a while um, the last time I was here was like when I was I think it was when I was like 14 so it's been like more than a decade that I've been in Chicago so city life really isn't for me I would say but um, I mean, it was cool to like be here and everything, and uh, there's some more that way, and there's some really tall buildings like over here too, and then that's like, down that way is where you get up into the building again, so, um, I'm gonna say goodbye to Chicago <laughs> and uh, we'll see what other things happen and um, yeah. So I'm eating a coffee bar. How are you gonna feel sad when I leave? Well, this will free up more space. It'll free up more space. I have more stuff than I do. I have way more stuff. Just like that you brought with me. I know. So like... You're gonna be sad like when I leave? Sure, but... Like sad is for 10 minutes until I should go home. This is really frozen. <laughs> My freezer is pretty cold. Yeah. We can have the rest of them. I shouldn't be like hyped about caffeine when I'm going back. I look really cute. I look, look, I look really young too. I'm like, why do I look so young? Maybe because you are young. <laughs> Notice the 27 inch I see are like, they look old. Like even some of the 18 year olds look old. But I think it's how they eat. I got like this thing of water right here for me. Too. I definitely went hard on the coffee with this one. Are you videoing all that? I am. Because like I'll never see you again, you know what I mean? Like, like who knows if we'll interact again, you know what I mean? I mean, you know my phone number. I know, but after all the craziness that happened in the city, like, 
We do a lot of fucking crazy people out here. Well, luckily, I know how to avoid those big crazy people. Let's go. I mean, there's crazy people everywhere. Mm -hmm. Another one by message alert. <laughs> Are all of those just dating website people? Most of them. I don't have any real friends. Sarah. I don't. Am I your friend? I don't know. Are you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well my stuff will be gone. Okay. Did you enjoy your stay at Brenda's Fun and Breakfast? There was no breakfast. <laughs> okay, I went, got my own <laughs> damn breakfast from Whole Foods. There was a banana you could have had. Oh my god. Right. This would probably be like my favorite. But I'm gonna pay like. I wouldn't pay like $95 for this. Mm -hmm. I'm cheap. I'm cheap. <laughs> I'm not a cheap. I'm cheap. <laughs> You're not a cheap? Huh? I th a thank cheap. God though I can get my my SD cards working again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause like I would have like died. Okay. These were like 64 gig cards too. So. Alright, we're leaving. Can you show me your, your pictures before I go? Yeah. Huh. Bye. <laughs> we can do this after that. After what? So this video is to remind myself that I want so much more out of life than what I am getting. Um, I deserve so much more. Um, and yesterday I visited Chicago and did so much and I have one of the things that I have. I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of books. I have a lot of things that I don't want to give up. I can't really do the city life thing, but um, I think that like I really deserve and owe it to myself to get a place of my own because currently I don't have one and um, it's hard for me to talk about that and say that out loud because number one a lot of people are judged a lot of people are they're looked down upon by their peers and there's multiple reasons why i chose to to live at home um i mean there's there's costs there's it, it's easier to be with someone else and you know that someone else is there um also, I love my dog. Um, I've, I've just always been more of a, like, a helper, and, like, I've always, like, catered to people, and it, like, really, it, it like, ran me down so hard. Um, but, um, like, even being on this vacation has just felt, been feeling, like, really odd, like, like I should feel, when I leave work, I should feel like I can still continue to do things in my life that I want to do and I, I don't feel that way. I feel like I, I've been trapped for so long and I really shouldn't be feeling that way and um, I'm a very introspective thinker and someone who like looks inside of things and analyzes things 
and um, as far as like what I want to do and where I want to go, those are hard questions for me to even answer because I like I want to help other people more than myself. Like I want to see other people doing good and I will sacrifice myself for other people and um, I don't know like I don't know how to it's just it's just part of inherently like who I am um, I've always been one for like universal consciousness and helping other people. It comes with, it comes with a little bit of a price. Like you can feel like weighed down by the someone's emotional baggage or emotional burdens. But um, I mean, I I care about people and. Sometimes other people's emotions come at me so hard and it burdens me and so when I put up a front it is to protect myself and a lot of people want me to just agree with them or act one way or the other and I know that I have my own free will and I can act however I want to act within reason. I'm not just gonna, I'm not just gonna act like, like an idiot just for no reason. Like, I mean, I do things to help other people, but I mean, we all have our own perspectives on how things work. And I've been surrounded by a lot of people that they enforce their ideas and they enforce their opinions on you and it's for me it's like not healthy and so like I really I wanted to record this message to myself to show myself that um like I really don't deserve to be around people like that that uh that don't want to listen to me or don't want to listen to what I have to offer I think it's very unhealthy and I need to change that like ASAP and it starts with the people that I'm around and I don't want to go into detail about that but um, I think it's it's good to see that you need to change something because it because uh, you know that you know that something needs to shift and something needs to um, something needs to get better like you realize something's wrong and something's a bit off so you're going to work on changing that so that you live a better life and I really want to spend more time on art, more time on photography, more time. I've even thought of painting and there's some other pursuits that I have that I want to work on and that's why I started this channel. I started this channel because I didn't know like where I was going wrong and like I didn't know like I knew that there was people around me that weren't right. Like they weren't happy, they weren't emotionally stable and they're not like just people around me were influencing me negatively and so like I wanted to see like how I felt how I reacted and like how to what I what I want to do what I how to how do I change that and so that's one of the reasons why I started this channel about a year ago was I mean it, it happened after the devastation of a breakup that I'm like I cannot rely on one person for myself like it just doesn't work like that like you have to be fully whole to be able to 
find the person that you're going to be whole with. Like you, you both have to be whole and I was dealing with somebody and I was also dealing with myself like we're not fully whole but there's things that we can help each other with on certain terms but um, it just lets me know that I have not I have not like I've, I've done a lot of um, progress with myself and I'm still not fully whole. I would not say that I'm fully whole or I've reached I've reached more of an enlightenment stage. Um, I know that for sure that I've gained and acquired more knowledge. I have just a whole lot of knowledge uh, spiritually, metaphysically, um, how to deal with just different types of people all the time at my job. Um, I've acquired that skill and very di very difficult people I might add. Um, and it just this, this trip, I mean over the past how many, it's been like two, now three days, so this trip has taught me that um, Like I can't rely on myself. I had a breakdown point yesterday, but it's it's taught me that I was like really introspective to the point where honestly I, I realized I was not leaving the home after I would come home from work and just thinking like, okay, like who's gonna who's gonna want to meet me? Like, it was that bad, and it means that there's things that I have to change, and um, that's why I'm, like, heavily documenting this, because this is, like, I'm sure there's a lot of people that, are, that go through this and stuff. I mean, it, it's hard when you don't have um, people that genuinely check up on you. Like, I'll be the one that tries to check up on other people and make sure that they're okay, kind of, like... I don't know, like an unofficial, like mom sort of role, but it's really, it's really burdensome at, at points. It's really, um, it's burdensome because I'm the one that usually, people do come to me and, and I will voice my opinions and things when I feel safe, but um, it's hard when th those there's certain select people that have violated your trust and like how you feel and make just make you think twice about what you're going to say and I, I just don't, I don't want those people in my life and I'm working on changing that. I think acknowledgement is the first step of knowing that you need to change like how things are and um, I really I really need to be in a better place like a living place like a better better place because it's it's not helping me anymore and I uh, I'm trying to get that motivation inside of myself to actually actually so I just wanted to I just wanted to say that um, the city life isn't really for me but I, I've always envisioned living like on the beach and living in California. I've had a lot of dreams about living on the beach and it, it makes me sad that um, I just don't have the support or the actual 
means to, to do that right now, but I, it's not like I'm neglecting my dreams or neglecting myself. I, I do know where I stand with a lot of, of my, my feelings and my dreams and everything. I do know where I stand, but as far as like actually getting there, it's like, I, I almost think it's too much for me because I, I dream so hard. I dream like, I live in my head most, most of the days because it, it helps me to like, to cope. It helps me to cope. I'm not on anything. I'm not taking anything. I meditate and do yoga and do photography and like, I would love to get back where I've been at, but I've, I've just been working so hard that I'll get like maybe one day here, one day over there in this, in my week. And, um, it, it just doesn't make me feel, it doesn't make me feel like I have a life, but my life has been put into my work. So it's kind of this interesting contrast between Like I've always wanted something that I could go to and just like work and just forget about my life, but now it's like I I work so much that um I don't have a life and so I can't I can't really focus on relationships or focus on just myself really. I mean I spend every little moment or hour that I'm out of work, I do spend it wisely. Like I'm a very time efficient female, I would say, but um, I, uh, I'm setting my sights on things that are better and higher for me. And it's just as a point of how to get there is is what I'm I'm lacking on and right now I, I view I view the world as just being very interconnected like like I see things where if like I'm connected to you and I'm connected to you I see myself and other people and I try to connect with them and I have I, I put those relationships above things, above how I feel, above, um, above things in my life, and um, I think that's a very unique quality, but also I know that I've been looking through my videos, I've been very angry, I've been very sad and upset, and I know that that's transferring, transferring from other people's energy. Um, it's not me. It's from, like, I feel like right now I'm like who I am and who I'm supposed to be. Um, but I'm when I'm with certain other people, they, I know that they have emotional heavy burdens and mental things going on and that impacts how how I feel because I, I connected to different people and I try to make someone feel better than they are and I, I try to help them um, but a lot of people they don't want the help they they want to stay stuck where they're at and I'm still working on trying to accept, like work on acceptance with with people like that. And it's almost like I, I, I'm blind to the fact that people don't want to change. Um, and I have to be the one that's, that's changing because I can only change myself. And I get into this rut where I'm
I just I, I got in, I got into a rut and uh, as far as like as far as like friends and anything like I do think some days like I'm just like does anyone know I exist um, I have I have those days, but I'm not as lonely as I was in um, the job the job that I'm in at now. I deal with just tons of people every day, so it is a change for me, and I I do see that um, because naturally I would tend to stay away just stay away from everything and I know that I have moved into a different position that that requires me to be like more outgoing and, and all that and um, and a, a bit more using my bitch tendencies I would say using like using like boundaries and rules and things to enforce and so people people don't like that and so I think maybe sometimes I carry that into my personal life but I'm still not 100% sure about um, like I think it's just my direction like I'm just not 100% sure like where I'm going and I say that all the time like I don't know where I'm going I'm not 100% sure about like I don't know what I want to do I don't know what I'm doing all I know is um, I just want to inspire people make people feel better that's what I live for that's who I am but to put that into a money money mindset is um is what i have personal trouble with because if i'm taking from people that's not helping them and i just i'm in this cycle of like i feel bad if i take money from people but yeah i need to take money from people so i still haven't mentally set that in so, at one, I mean, at some point, I want to be operating from a place of like life getting easier and, and life being better than I imagined, and I believe that I believe that that will that will come through. Um, it's just a matter of how do I work that out. There's just a lot of questions that I haven't like answered for myself, and um, I know that I'm a good person. I know that I have a huge conscience. I don't try to steal from people, lie to people. Um, I, I don't try to take from people. I. I want to make people feel better. I sometimes at my own expense, and it's hard because a lot of people they don't reciprocate, and I don't know why that is. I don't know why people don't want to reciprocate or exchange. And I need to again. I need I need to change who I'm around, what I'm doing, how I'm living my life, and I need to do that. And. I, I even driving here I wrote down like what my goals were and like what I wanted to change um, and I need to change I need to definitely 
change my environment, what I'm doing, how I want to live my life, I need to do that um, ASAP. And I don't know if anyone's going to watch this, but um, you're never too... I'm going to end with this. You are never too old to do anything. I want to go over the KFC guy story as well. And I'm going to do that. Because I think it will help everybody that watches this. I think it's going to help just give a new perspective on your life. And I'm going to do that in the next video. So stay punk.